We have a Superior instrument signal generator, model 660. And this thing is in pretty good shape. Leastways the front is in pretty good shape. Dials turn pretty smoothly. And we're hoping to go ahead and restore it. And let's take a look at the back. Got a big canister cap there, about three caps inside of it. Uh, 40 UF, or I should say MFD, at 400 volt, and a couple of 10 uh, MFDs at 350 volt. There's five coils, four of them with slugs. I don't think the fifth one is supposed to have a slug. A 6BE6, another 6BE6, and a 6H6 rectifier tube. Not sure what that wire is supposed to do yet. We'll have to do some investigating on that. A little bit dirty on the inside, but it would probably clean up fairly well. And inside, we've got some caps over here, variable caps. It looks like they need to have a couple of screws in. This one's got the screw, and so does this one. And here we've got a uh, selector switch. That's the band switch. Big resistor there, probably a two water. I'll bet you that'll have to be replaced. And a number of electrolytics will have to probably replace all of them. These are 0.1 at 400 volt, these three. This is a 0 0.025 at 200 volt. This is a 0 0.05 at 600 volt. A 0 0.01 at 400 volt and a 0.05 at 600 volt. So they'll all probably have to be replaced. Got some resistors over here and they'll probably have to have a few of those replaced. I'll check them out. I don't suppose they have to be real exact but they probably should be close. This will be a fun little project to uh, to go ahead and upgrade. As you can see over here I've got a couple of the caps already selected and uh, once we get her, once we get her done and and uh, back in business, we'll show you a little bit how to align it, and then we'll uh, uh, put a little test on for you. So this will be video part one, and then we'll tag another one right on the end of it. This is a continuation of the signal generator model 660A by Superior Instruments Company and since the last time I made a video I have replaced the capacitors inside of this can I restuffed it I also found out that there was a choke missing right over here and have replaced that and what that choke does is it interfaces the modulation signal with the RF signal also found out these tubes here there are a 6BE6, a 6BE6, and a 6H6 rectifier here. We also have found out that these trimmers, these inductive trimmers here, are for band A, band B, band C, band D, and band E. And band E is not supposed to be variable. Also, looking in the bottom side, You've got these little trimmers here, these variable caps, and what you do, for instance, is on band B, you would use this to tune the lower end, to align the lower end, and then you would use this one to align the upper end. And this thing does work pretty good. It seems to track pretty well. It seems to put it out on all uh, bands, although some bands work better than others and uh, would be a good instrument for someone to use. I don't know that I'm going to keep it. I'll probably sell it on eBay one of these days. As I just don't have a real use for it, I have a real good uh, signal generator. But it's a pretty nice little unit in good working condition.